Greetings Internet. Welcome to Aaron Plays. In this episode I'm going to look at a role-playing game. When I started the channel one of the things I put in the title description or whatever was that I'm going to look at war games, board games, card games and role-playing games. But today I haven't really looked at a role-playing game. I've looked at a miniatures game that has a role-playing elements Okay, which is Shadows or Rangers of Shadow Vale or something along that line. Um, but I haven't actually looked at a role-playing game. So which one to look at? Well, I, I used to do quite a few different role-playing games, but in the last sort of four, well, three, four years, I've been focusing on just the one time restraints. And the one is the one that you can see a picture of there, Traveller, a sci-fi. And I've been playing, oops, sorry, I've been playing the Mongoose revised second edition. So I'm going to show the core rule book, go through it a little bit, show you what it's about and why I actually like and chose this game as the only role playing game that I currently do. Date 2022. Um, I started actually with the um, in the recent traveler. I've been playing with the Mongoose second edition first first book. I actually got the starter set to see if I was going to be into it, which I, I thoroughly enjoyed. I then bought the um, first second edition rule book, and then I bought the core rule book update 2022. Um, there has been a gradual improvement in the quality of the text and also the graphics and pictures and such forth inside. However, I do think the actual cover picture is probably the weaker of the two. Um, it, it does show um, the Beowulf, which was in the original box set from 77, um, and which is a fast trader or a free trader and also some of the actual races that are in the actual core game you've got the Varg the Aslan I think these are two versions of humanity and I think that's a Zon Zondani or Zondani um, but yeah that, that cover picture doesn't rock my boat but at the end of the day who judges a book by the cover well we shouldn't do should we so Inside, I mean, obviously you've got a, um, some cover art there, picture art, explaining the game. And as all these role playing, so you do have, you know, how how the game works. You've got players and travellers, the referee, um, further reading, uh, how the dice work, and such forth. The the layout is nice. It's clean. Um, there is enough art in there to satisfy, so you're not just facing walls and walls and walls of text, um, which you do get in quite a, in some role-playing games. And then it's got the basis of a character sheet, the how to create a traveller, and then the full sort of character creation of the game. So, the rules themselves are quite straightforward. There have been quite a few differences between this and the, the original 1977 version, which I did play at a tender young age. Um, and you don't die in character creation, which you could do in the original. Though you can do what's called Iron Man mode if you want to have that in there. But if your character, as it's goes through its creation um, whereas the difference between this and say Dungeons and Dragons Dungeons and Dragons you start at first level you're a weak little character and not having much abilities and such forth in this you determine when to stop character creation and you will have a if not fully rounded a more rounded character um, than a 
first level Dungeon Dragon because this is not a level based system. It uses skills and you have quite a lot of skills when you actually start the game and you gain more um, as you go along. So in character creation in this core book you've got various different careers that you can choose and then you can remain in that career or you might actually get kicked out if certain things don't happen. You might get injured but not killed. Um, and yes, it's determined by the dice, but when you're creating the characters, it's advised that you actually create them with um, other players at the same time. And that starts creating the background of how your characters start together. You don't, you don't start with all meeting up in a pub or a bar or a tavern as you do in some fantasy games. So again, there are exceptions to that. But this is just one of the career sheets. So you're on here, you've got different aspects of the sheet. You've got up here how to actually get into the career. Once you're in the career, you get the skills that you you start with. Um, you've got then here career progression. So the career is determined in four year batches. So you join the career at again the tender age of 18. You then move into um, a four year term and in that term you'll learn some skills and then you'll see did you survive that term and you've got to make a role based on that actual situation if you did survive you then go through advancement did you actually advance in the career and if you did this is what kind of things you can you the, the ranks that you guild the actual bonuses you get and you get an extra skill for advancing if during the survive survival roll you didn't survive you actually roll on the mishaps to see what actually happens to you which can have you being kicked out of the career or um, actually just having severe injuries you also roll on an events table each term each four-year term to determine what else ha also happened to you during that term you then get on to the do you then continue if you're kicked out you can go and choose another career if you remain you can decide to re remain and then do another term gain the benefits and such forth and there are enough so i'll put my hands all over the screen here um different careers to choose from in just this course so you've got citizen drifter um qualification enjoyment of the drifter is automatic so if you decide you don't you know you don't want to go into any one of the other careers this is the career that you go on and you still can pick up a fair amount of skills looking at this also once you actually decide I, you know i want now want to play this character and they could be anything from 22 right the way up to 50 60 years old um the older they are then probably the more skills but they might have started taking some physical or even mental degradation to their stats so at that point you then have mustering out, there's, there's a certain amount of mustering out roles, you can gain cash or benefits. Now not much from a drifter, but a merchant, you could get a considerable amount of money, or even if you decide to use the benefits, actual um, ships. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on character creation, I'll, I'll probably do that in another video if there's enough interest from you guys. For me to do so but there, there, there's enough different characters there to choose from uh, and even a prisoner if one of the routes take you that way um, and again I do like the art it's evocative um, of the world that's portrayed I say world the universe that's portrayed in the actual system so after you've done the character creation, it goes into details about the different skills. As I say, this is a skill-based system. Um, the actual... Most roles are 2d6. Uh, you will have a target number to achieve, normally 8. And you roll the 2d6 and you have to roll equal to or higher than... That actual number that you're looking for um, and your skills add to that number and also you've got benefits for different um, your stats so there are six basic stats you've got your strength 
your dexterity and endurance, so there's your physical stats, and then you've got your mental, which is your intellect and education, and then the other one, which sort of is, is, is your social, um, which is, is not based on your, as in some games, like your charisma or such, though that can come into it, but it's also your rank in society, your ability to communicate with people on a social level um, as well. So it's those six stats, they add modifiers, depending on how high the score is, um, and you add that to any skills that you have, and then you add those two modifiers to help you pass whatever task the, the nasty GM has given you. You also have opposed checks, multiple tasks, and so on. And these are the skills. There are quite a few. Oops, I've gone too little far there. Um, you've got weapons, skills, and... No, I've gone, gone to the combat chapter. So the end of the skills. So we've got up to back suit, how to use a back suit and tactics and so on. The combat rules, quite straightforward. Um, there's not many pages on actual combat. And as you would expect if you're using things like lasers or even guns, it can be very, very deadly. Um, as opposed to something like again a fantasy game where combat is I wouldn't say encouraged but is looked upon as the solution to most problems and you gain experience points for doing so in Traveller combat should be the last option the very last option if you can avoid it do so combat is quick um, and as I said very deadly but it's there and it's also quite exciting. Um, so you've got the action system, which again, I'll go into more detail as and when we get to that point. So weapon traits, you've then got encounters, healing, um, animals, lots of pictures, or different uh, animals and such forth of alien worlds. Um, but again, you can, you know, this looks like something from um, Stranger Things. But uh, you can invent whatever creatures that you actually want to, uh, but there's some basic ones there to start start you off. Okay, and remember this is just the core book. There are quite a few adventure books and campaign background settings and, and, and such for, for the game. So you've got Encounters and Dangers, and then you've got the equipment. Almost done like a catalogue different set types of armor again nice pictures just showing it all medical supplies computer software um, different kinds of equipment that you can put your characters can purchase weapons nice little chart of you know, a quick breakdown of each weapon and its type and, and what it can do but nice little pictures to go along with it so help visualize the situation. But, so you've got slug throwers, energy weapons, grenades, heavy weapons, and so on. Once you've actually gone through the weapons, you've got vehicles. Um, it goes through the vehicle charts and how vehicles work and how they interact. Again, some basic vehicles there to help you through. There is a separate vehicle book there is um, a book called The Core Supplies, which has a basically a more detailed catalogue. But the, the basic rule book itself has everything you need. You don't need anything else. You probably want, once you actually get into the game, a lot more. But you don't need it. You can play the game purely from this book. There is enough here, and your imagination. But that says enough adventures and backgrounds and such forth. Then we have spacecraft operations. Now, this is probably the most technical part of it you've got random encounters such as how crew are paid if you actually hire crew um, the power of the of, of the system docking um, running in atmosphere the actual cost of running a ship the cost of buying a ship the fuel consumption of a ship jump travel um, the traveler universe doesn't use um, warp drive it uses jump drives 
Uh, these jump drives are rated from one to six currently, um, and each jump is a parsec. Parsec being something like three point two six light years, I think. So when you jump, it takes a roughly a week, i.e. seven days, to do a jump. And depending on the jump drive you've got, so if you've got a jump one, you can jump one parsec. If you've got jump two, you can jump up to two parsecs. But no matter how far you can jump, it still takes the seven days. So, and that's all explained in here and how much fuel it actually uses. Um, then you've got the different part, you know, sensors on the ship, shipboard computers, security. So it goes in quite a bit of detail, but none of it is too technical. It's there for you to use. Um, you can fudge it, um, which generally I don't do if I'm running a game. Um, it depends on the players. I mean, some players want to play, you know, hard and fast. Um, with technically down to as much detail as you can get and others just want to rim over some of that and, and you can do so as well. Um, space combat, yeah that is quite interesting. Again short, sharp and deadly. Um, if you can avoid it, do so. But if you can't, the rules are there and yeah it's, it's quick and effective. Quite a bit of different uh, examples of critical hits, your reactions, and such forth. There's also a system for actually constructing your own spaceships. Now, the, the game comes with quite a few examples of ships, but there is a ship construction system, and these are ships that, you, that are, are in the game. You've got the technical layout, you've got a floor plan of, of what it looks like, um, and there are quite a few different ships in here. Um, I haven't as yet designed a ship, I haven't felt the need to, but the system's there if I decide to. Okay, um, so there's quite a few, and again there is a separate spacecraft book if you want to go into more detail. But as you can say, there is, there is enough here to keep you occupied for quite some time. Zionics, never played with them as yet. Um, not sure how or if they're going to unbalance the system, but they are there. Um, there is a Zionic, uh, a one of the races that are done, and you say they, they use Zionics quite a lot. So if I do decide to play in that area, well, I've got the rules to cover it, or if a player wants to play it. I haven't made up my mind yet if Zionics is one of the ways I want to go. Um, so, trade rules. Yes. Complete subgame. Um, you can, you know, if any of you have seen Firefly, you can use your ship as a transportation device to transport people um, and assets from planet to planet without actually getting involved in any adventures if, you, if, if that's what you, your characters want to do. Or you can incorporate it into, the, into an ongoing campaign so you have a story with a bit of trading and such forth. But yes, it's a complete system in there on how to get passengers, how to get freight, um, smuggling, illegal goods, brokers on the planet, and two pages of different kinds of trade goods, how much is there, supply and demand, Whew. then world creation. Yes, there's a lot of books out there, campaigns or background, but if you wanted to go completely on your own uh, and make your own sector up and fill it, you can do so, and the rules are here to do so. Okay, how to actually create star systems, the details of them, the planets set up and so on. So there's quite a lot in there, what government types, populations, and so on, uh, even up to the, the law level of the planets themselves, starport facilities, and how to fill in the maps and, and so forth, and codes, each planet has a code, and that code determines what kind of trade it can do, etc. And then probably one of the most important things, which they didn't have in the straight version, uh, second edition, is an index. Why would you not put an index in a, in, in a, in a book? 
that's got over you know 270 odd pages bonkers but in this revised course second edition there is an index and it is useful so so there traveler 2022 so that's it that's my initial look at traveler the core rule book um if there's enough interest I, I can go through character creation there are various ways to play this game solo you can play it you know two or three characters on a ship there are ways to actually run encounters and such forth so again if there's enough interest from you guys to, to watch that um i do have a group of players who play i play with um semi regularly we haven't played for a couple of se uh, well a couple of months now um mainly due to again the gaming hiatus but it's something that we we can get back into quite quickly we've got characters and such forth but i will not be making videos of that because some people are shy i wouldn't do want to do that is unless they, they wanted to but what i can do is go through how to build a character how to actually um create a crew of characters and if there's enough I, interest i can you know solo play it and go through an adventure with you guys let me know so if you could tickle that like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel be much appreciated and any comments or anything that you would like to see you need to go in further detail well make a comment until next time internet bye